Hi and welcome to Jabby Jabby Girl Talk, I'm Conroll. I'm Ashley. And today we're reviewing the Smackdown from the 23rd of July. That is right, isn't it? Yeah. Good. Well done. Yeah. So we had Dean Ambrose with Seamus. Did we? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Strange. It was very odd. I don't quite... Oh, did Seamus come out talking first? Yeah, I watched this this morning. <laughs> or last night. What was he saying? It's not about his briefcase. And then Dean come out. I think so. Why did he come out? Don't know. Don't know if you're talking, Seamus. Yeah. Briefcase one, can not he? <laughs> I think it, I think it might just be the match where he just came out saying something first. Oh, and then Dean come out and was like, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. Dean and Dean Ambrose and Seamus are not compatible people. No, they're not. They don't really know. It seems all very awkward when they're together. I don't know why. Hmm. Their wrestling just doesn't flow. The Seamus one. Because mm. Luke Harper got involved. He stood on the commentary table. And then uh, Seamus hits him because Ambrose goes after Luke Harper. And then the bro kick happens and Seamus wins. Oh. Seamus won. Yeah. He looks stupid. I don't get it. I, I know he looks tad stupid but it goes with his character yeah I don't get how the crowd all of a sudden just start going you look stupid because he started that no he just looked stupid though to one person the crowd started and yeah. now they just say it forever or do you think on the live tapings they have like a sign that says now say you look stupid <laughs> you look stupid <laughs> this is awesome I think um, someone just says it and it happens it's really hard to get that going though mm. so hard about yeah I started the that oh. They've got no copyright on that or anything. No. That's really sad. Yeah. Poor them. I want to get a chant going. <laughs> when we go in uh, November. Yeah. WWE Girl Talk. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> WWE Girl Talk. <laughs> we had Neville backstage with Jojo. And uh, he's talking about Stardust and saying, you know, N- Neville isn't a nut. <laughs> Neville is not a nut. <laughs> We've been nuts. Yeah. I don't remember. Oh no, Neville calls Stardust and that. Oh, like Craig. Craig that Craig. job. That job. Yeah. And uh, Stardust says that Neville's a superhero and Stardust is a villain, but, you know, Neville thinks he's a coward. I don't understand how that really works. No. <laughs> that analogy? Okay. Um, he said whether Stardust likes it or not, the altitude error is happening. And he walks away. And then the moment it starts to crackle behind her, and it's Stardust, he laughs. Blow some stars! Yeah. I was proud of that part. I was like, mm-hmm. I've been saying this forever. You need to start blind them, babies. <laughs> it's gone for a reason. Um, I like the bit of the screen, though. That was good. What, the cut? Mm. The crackle. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. That's good. But then had Adam Rose versus Neville. That was a good match, I thought. That was a good match. Yeah. And it was even better that Rosa weren't there. Yes, Rosa weren't there, and Adam Rose actually showed what he's made of. Yeah, it was good. It was really good. He is a good wrestler. <gasps> Adam Rose has got a tag team partner now. Who? Oh, uh, Brad Maddox is his name. On... Um, NXT or... I don't know. Mm. But we've been saying for Adam Rose in a tag team for ages. He needs Tyler Breeze. <laughs> he does need Tyler Breeze, but... He's Where like... is Tyler Breeze? He hasn't been on it for a Where is he, Bob? I don't know. I don't know why Tyler Breeze. But, yeah, it was a really good match. Adam Rose did a lot of it from memory. Yeah. He did a good job. He did do a good job. Well done, him. But he didn't win. <laughs> no, never won. <laughs> of course not. Who... I, still, I still can't root for Neville. His his promos aren't good. They're not it's good. He's got no personality. No. As far as I'm concerned, he's a good wrestler, and I'd like to see him wrestle people that I want to root for. Yeah. Does that uh, does that make sense? Like I'm not going to root for him. I'm going to root for the opposite. Yeah. Unless it's like John Cena. Like this Stardust thing, I kind of want Stardust. Oh <laughs> uh, mm. no! But Stardust comes on the screen with blown a kazoo and dancing around. Like I love how weird he is, mm-hmm. and he he pulls it off so well. I think yeah. that's what it is. And um. He talks about sharp arrows, which is also a Green Arrow reference because he's going to have a match with Stephen Arnell. Yeah, yeah nothing's come, come off that lately, though. Yeah, he's apparently he's going to have him raw this week, though. Oh. So, yeah, that's happening. And he tells Nero, Neville to be his hero. And as Stardust throws the instruments down, the stars last forever. And then goes away, really. And Neville's just is very confused, but yeah. he doesn't pull off, off very well. No. I he just kind of went. And for a PG show, you shouldn't really be mouthing what the fuck either. Yeah, <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> I was like, Randy 
not done that. That was on the other day. He does. He's used to the old era, though. Yeah. Era. 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 How'd you say it? Era. Era. I say era, but it is era, I think. Oh, I said it wrong as well. Mm. Essex thing, probably. Essex. Kevin Owens comes out. He said all he's heard this week is about tapping out, because there's a tap, Owens tap chant. Um, But he doesn't care. And he says Cena's not always have a gear up, but he, his was lived to fight another day. <coughs> and he says he doesn't give up because he knew he knew his family was dependent on him, and always know he knows his sport. Cena's the tough toughest fight ever, 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 ever. Um, he doesn't care what anyone thinks because he's done what's best for his career, and that's what he did on Monday when he walked out of the match with Rusev and blah blah. Um, and that's it really. Rusev comes out. Uh, because Owen said that, um, you know, Bruce should have paid more attention to the match and trying to get to second base of his <laughs> Lana wannabe, which was a really good yeah. thing. I quite like that. That's good. Um, yeah, I feel so like Kevin Owens watches the show back when he's not wrestling. I think he actually just pay attention to what's going on. Yeah. yeah. He makes references to it, which is good. Yeah. Yeah, it's Kevin Owens versus Rusev. Um, and again, Kevin Owens walked away. So mm. Bruce won by count out. I feel like I feel like Kevin Owens has become all talk and it's yeah. He was such a good character in the yeah. random. But yeah, the match weren't that good to begin with to be fair, because no. Bruce F happened. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had straight after this, uh one of the announcers from NXT talking to Cesaro. And Cesaro's from Match on Cena, because everyone's from Match on Cena for some reason. Oh. And he said, I pushed us into the limit. But now he's facing several Rollins tonight. And he says he gave up a lot to be here and he's missed a lot, but he wouldn't change a thing. And then Cesaro is talking about the Mega Dream and how it's still alive. And Kevin Owens walks in and mocks him. And then uh basically they have a little bit of a you know what's it? Balmy. <laughs> Their words. And Cesaro said, I want you do but you do best on walk Owens walk. I quite like that. Mm. That was good. It's become a thing though. Walk Owens walk. Mm. Mm. I feel like maybe it might be something to egg on a feud with someone. Cesaro. Yeah, but I mean like that's already kind of set up. Yeah. Like after that one. Yeah. Then they had Naomi and Sasha Banks versus the Bella Twins. Um, I was a bit disappointed the Bella Twins won this. Yeah. I don't think they deserve to win it. Mm. Sasha did a lot of work in that one though. But she's always yeah. she's in every single Raw and Smackdown recently. Yeah. I feel like they're pushing them on the Charlotte. Yeah. I feel like Becky Lynch is gonna get pushed down. She's if anyone's gonna get pushed back to NXT it's Becky Lynch. Yeah, she's not really been profiled that much no, straight yeah. out of all of them. Because obviously Charlotte's got the whole hundred players to her yeah. and all this. Sasha Banks is the current NXT champion. Yeah. All Becky Lynch has got is yeah, we could wrestle. Yeah. She hasn't got she's got a Personality for NXT, it's not big enough. Like her entrance isn't big enough either. For raw, like her. she seems to be very quiet and shy. All yeah, the time. I don't understand what's happened to her. No, I feel like she needs a match to showcase her stuff or a feud. She could have actually got a feud. I feel like because they haven't really given her anything. It's just kind of in the background, really, yeah. isn't she? Uh, but yeah, the match was was good for, like, for better twin standards. But I still felt like they had to hold back a bit. Yeah, from what they normally can do. It was still a good match though. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Bella Twins won, which I did before. She pinned Nomi, which annoyed me. Yeah. But hey, how we can do. Mm-hmm. Uh, then has Cesaro by Seth Rollins, which is the main event of this evening. Mm. Um, Cesaro and Seth did do good together. They're quite compatible. But I was waiting for the interference, which happened at the end with Kevin Owens. Didn't he come out? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, no, that was after the match. Mm. Well, I was waiting for Kevin Owens, basically, because she knew it was going to happen. But... Um, Obviously Seth won, which is right. Seth should win because it's um, his champion. The bit weird if Cesaro won. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but okay. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, he done. He won with the pedigree. But he actually did the pedigree all right this time. I don't think I saw him do it this time, you know. I did not. No. He did do it all right. And then Kevin Owens walked down the ramp as Rollins is celebrating his win. And he pop up powerbomb Cesaro. And yeah, I remember that part. And that was the end, really. Yeah, great ending. And then Raw automatically uploaded afterwards. I was quite happy. <laughs> You're like, yeah, let's <laughs> search for it. 
yeah. I thought that was one of the better Smackdowns. Yeah. It, like, things that are on, on, on it on the card are up, but... Everything's slowed down recently. I feel yeah. like it's had its highlights and everything else is flat. Mm. I, don't, I, I don't know. The writers need to get fired. Just, yeah, basically. I'd probably rate it a three, though. You weren't terrible. Yeah, looking back on it, it weren't that bad. Mm. Alright, well... Our reviews get shorter and shorter. I know, because they're so like, long ago. Like, yeah, yeah, this happened. Okay, yeah, bye. Yeah, bye. But yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, retweet, retumble. Follow us. Sub us. Yes. Goodbye.